do you do in a week kind of to prepare for the environment in a road game and just how big of a challenge is that first big road test of the season? Uh, well, well, the communication in particular on offense is a huge deal. Defensively, actually, you end up dealing with it uh, while you're at home. Um, there's things that we do during training camp. We actually have, you know, uh, portions of our, our training camp where we work on the mechanics of, of playing in this type of environment. Um, you know, guys have, have been good this week. Um, you try to create crowd noise and, and, uh, and simulate those things. Obviously, the environment is, uh, is tough to completely simulate here in practice, but uh, we work through all those things. Uh, we got to handle it in, in a really positive way here on uh, Saturday night. What have you seen from Florida starting quarterback Graham Mertz in his first two starts at Florida? Yeah, um, you know, for, for Graham, I, I think he's increased his mobility, uh, just having known him all the way back to, to when he was in, in high school. Uh, he's been a really sound decision maker for them. Um, you know, I think his experience um, that he has, um, you know, the first couple of weeks, but also uh, all the, the time that he spent at the previous spot, um, you know, he's ready for these types of games and, and environments. Uh, we got to do a great job. Uh, I said it. We got to apply pressure uh, to him, make him uncomfortable inside the pocket. But a lot of that starts with uh, being really uh, efficient defensively on first and second down. So you got to do a good job with the run game. Coach, what do you think it would mean for this university and program to get back to back wins against Florida? I'm, I'm sorry. I missed the very beginning of that. I'm sorry. What do you think it would mean for this university and program to get back to back wins against Florida? Man, I don't think about that, or our team doesn't think about it. Yesterday has nothing to do with today. Um, you know, this thing's solely about, you know, Saturday night, this football team uh, being able to reset and play each play independently for 60 minutes. Several guys that spoke this week talked about needing to turn it up a notch in practice in preparation. Just have you seen them kind of take that next step in preparation this week? Yeah, I, you know, I said it um, earlier uh, this week, yeah, I didn't feel like our preparation was off uh, last week either. Uh, there's some things situationally that we got to be better in, uh, in particular offensively, but some things defensively too. Um, continue to compete in, in your preparation up until kickoff. This week's been really good. Um, you know, obviously you're starting league play. You understand the, the type of opponent, um, the type of environment you're going into. Uh, it's got everybody's complete attention. Uh, Brian G. Marie said Keenan Peely was going to make the trip down there with you guys. Just kind of what have you seen out of him since that injury? Um, you know, he was gone for, um, I don't know, a day um, and then right back in, in the building. So he's been uh, – he's approached it like he's playing. Uh, he uh been really good with his teammates, uh, really kind of approaching it like a, a coach would. And um, it's got a great impact on, on our football team. So do you expect Cooper to make the trip on this game? Yeah, he'll be uh, going with us. He's been really good uh, all week long, so um anticipate him being ready to play. And he's just hack. Follow up on that, having him back, what does that mean for your offensive line? He's smart, competitive, communicates at a really high level, so he helps, you know, in his experience is, is uh, beneficial for us. With him back, is this one of those things where you, you just roll him out there and he, and he goes, or is this one of those things where he, you know, he, he can kind of, you know, you got to let him work his way back in. He maybe balances it with Ollie at center, uh, just from a conditioning standpoint. Um, you know, the conditioning is uh, one thing, but uh, he's been, you know, even before he's back on the grass with us, there's a lot of things that he was doing with our, our strength staff. Um, you know, the, the flow of the game will will dictate a little bit, you know, how he's feeling out there, that type of thing.